So for my next big game update, I've been working on implementing an inventory system similar to Silent Hill 2 Remakes. For now, I was trying to keep the game menu rather basic, just listing out the items I have available and figured that I could polish them up once I have a more concrete direction I want to go with menu-wise. By enabling, adding and removing items, uh, I, I realized I can unlock many other systems from equipment-based combat to lock and key puzzles. Unfortunately, I kind of messed up by not setting up a proper state machine system. Extending my current code was getting more and more complicated, so I figured it was time for some spring cleaning. Refactoring was kind of very freaking painful, especially since I had to rewrite a lot of code for both player and game states. But after writing up a state machine system similar to the one described in uh, GD Quest's guide on state machines, which I highly recommend, I actually had a pretty straightforward time implementing the inventory system and the menus themselves. Thanks to resources for data management and Nathan Hode's uh, dialogue manager plugin for scripting dialogue events. Now my characters can uh, pick up keys, check their inventory, and open locked doors. If there's one lesson to take from this, don't neglect writing up your state machines or pretty much any other game infra that you feel you're gonna end up needing soon. Refactoring sucks, but the sooner you set up good systems, the easier it's gonna be to extend them in the first place. Well, next up, combat.